Hello boys and girls, welcome to lesson 12.2. It's about customary units of measurement. Our essential question for today is, how can you use models to compare customary units of length? Please turn in your Go Math book to page 223 and let's get started. Two very important tools that you will need to know with measurement is the yardstick and the ruler. The yardstick measures 36 inches, also known as 3 feet long. The ruler is 12 inches and it measures 1 foot. You can use a ruler to measure length. A ruler that is 1 foot long shows 12 inches in 1 foot. Do you see this ruler right here? It equals 12 whole inches. A ruler that is three feet long, it's called a yardstick. There are three feet in one yard. Do you see how we have one ruler, two rulers, three rulers? The three rulers combined equals one entire yard because it's one foot, two feet, three feet. And that's equivalent to one whole yard. It's very important to know these two measurement tools as we explore today's lesson. Make sure you pay close attention to this little chart right here. This chart's going to help you in our homework assignment. Let's look at the example that they've shown us. This example says 3 feet is equal to 36 inches. By looking at our chart up here, we can see that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So I went ahead and made three modeled rulers, and I know each ruler is equal to one foot. But I also know that each foot equals 12 inches. That is why I have 12 plus 12 plus 12 is equal to 36 inches. That's how they got the answer of 36 inches. Now let's try number two. Now for number two it says, Two yards equals how many feet? So let's go ahead and look up here at our customary units of length. I see that one yard equals three feet. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a yardstick. And I know a one yardstick equals three feet. I'll put one yard right there in my little yardstick. But it says two yards, so I'm going to make another yardstick. So using our model, like our essential question says to do, Two yards is equal to how many feet? Well, let's add it up. If you said six feet, you were right because three feet plus three feet is equal to six feet. Okay, let's look at number three. For number three, we're gonna treat it like number one. We're converting our feet to inches. So I know if I have eight feet, how many inches will that be? Well, I have one foot is equal to 12 inches. So eight feet times 12 inches would equal how many inches? Let's go ahead and multiply that together. I know that 12 times eight, let's go ahead and multiply our eight times two would be 16. Eight times one ten is eight tens, plus one more is nine tens. So I would have the answer of 96 inches. All right, do you see how we got that? Now let's look at number four. Seven yards is equal to how many feet? According to my chart up here, I know that three feet equals one yard. So how many feet would equal seven yards? Our equation will be seven times three. I know seven times three because I know my facts to be 21 feet. Let's see if that makes sense. Seven yards is equal to 21 feet. Well, I know if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards, and each yard is equal to three feet. See, this is how you can just show a model. When you add that all up together, our answer does make sense. Because remember, multiplication is just repeated subtraction. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three equals 20. One. Our answer does make sense. All right, I want you to try number five, six, and seven on your own by pausing the video. Work them out on your own and then press the 
pause button again, or the play button, and let's see if our answers match. Go ahead and press pause now. All right, for number four, you should have said four feet equals how many inches? Well, I know in one foot it's 12 inches, so four feet times 12 would be 48 inches. Number six says 15 yards equals how many feet? Well, I know in one yard it equals three feet, so my equation would be 15 times three. I would say that there are 45 feet inside 15 yards. And for number seven, it's 10 feet equals how many inches? All right, so if you know that there are 12 inches in one foot, then how many inches would be in 10 feet? Your equation would have to be 10 feet times 12 inches would give me 120 inches. All right, I hope you got those three correct. Now let's go on to the next question, number eight. For this set of questions, you're going to be using the inequalities of less than, greater than, or equal to. So let's look at number eight. Three yards, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 10 feet? Well, let's think about that. I'm going to want to put them all into feet. All right, so let's think of how many feet equals three yards. Well, if one yard equals three feet, three yards would have to equal nine feet because three times three equals nine because there are three feet per yard. Therefore, nine is not greater than 10, so I would have to say it's less than. Let's look at number nine, five feet and 60 inches. Well, I know in one foot, it says up here, it equals 12 inches. So five feet times 12 inches would equal what product? Let's try it right up here. Five times two is 10. 5 times 110 is 5 tenths, plus one more is 6 ten. That would be 60 inches. 5 feet times 12 inches is 60 inches. Therefore, 5 feet is equal to 60 inches. Now let's look at number 10. We have 8 yards and 20 feet. Which one's greater than, less than, or equal to? Well, let's think about this. If 1 yard equals 3 feet, then eight yards would equal how many feet? Our equation would be eight times three. Because we know one yard is equal to three feet, how many feet are in eight yards? And eight times three is 24. Therefore, I know eight yards is greater than 20 feet. Now I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try 11, 12, and 13 all by yourself, and then press play, and we'll check together. Okay, so for numbers 11, 12, and 13, let's go ahead and go over those answers. For number 11, you should have said 3 feet is greater than 10 inches. If you think about that, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, so therefore 3 feet would have to be 36 inches, and that's greater than 10 inches. For number 12, it says 3 yards, which should be less than 21 feet. The reason why is because three, 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. So three yards is only equal to nine feet because three times three equals nine. All right, so I know nine is less than 21. And now for number 13, six feet should be equal to 72 inches because let's look up here, one foot equals how many inches? 12. Therefore, I would say my equation is 12 inches times six feet is going to give me 72 inches. And that actually shows that these are equal. All right, let's try the next question. For this problem solving question, it says Carla has two lengths of ribbon. One ribbon is two feet long. The other ribbon is 30 inches long. Which length of ribbon is longer? Go ahead and pause the video and I want you to try this on your own and then we'll check it together. Okay, for this one, you should have done something similar to this. I'm gonna go ahead and make my first ribbon as two feet long. So I went ahead and made it a green ribbon and I cut it into two feet. 
one foot and two feet. Now I'm going to convert that into inches. So how many inches are in one foot? I'm going to say 12 inches and 12 inches. So my equation will be 12 plus 12. This first ribbon is only 24 inches long because it's two feet long. But the other ribbon says that it's 30 inches long. Therefore, I know, showing this work, I would say that the length of ribbon that's longer would be the 30 inches of ribbon. And this proves it right there. Let's go ahead and look at question number 15 now. For question number 15, it says this. A football player gained two yards in one play. On the next play, he gained five feet. Was his gain greater on the first play or the second play? Explain. Go ahead and work this out in your Go Math book. Maybe show some examples by drawing models. And then we're going to check it together and see how you did. Go ahead and press pause. Okay, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and show play number one. I'm going to just put a little one with a circle around it. Now it says for the first play, he gained two yards. So here's one yard, and here's two yards. On the second play, he gained five feet. Was his gain greater on the first play or the second play? So it looks like I'm going to be measuring this in feet. So let's go back to our yard. Remember, according to our chart, one yard equals three feet. So here's my first yard, and here's my second yard, which equals three feet apiece. So, th so these two yards combined are equal to six feet. I'm going to write six feet right there. That's for play number one, and that equals two yards. Now, it says right there in my question, it says on the next play he gained five feet. Well, I know that six is greater than five. Therefore, I would have to say that the first play was a greater gain. So you could say the first play was greater. And why was that? Because six feet is greater than five feet. Hope that makes sense for you. If not, rewatch this part again. So the two homework questions we're going to check together, whole group about this topic, are questions number one and two on page 224. And then I want you to finish the last four review questions on this page. We're going to check all six questions tomorrow, whole group in class, so please make sure it's finished. And then when you're done doing it, I want you to assess yourself. How do you feel about converting your measurements from yards, feet, and inches? Remember, we will be practicing this in class tomorrow, so we will have extra practice. But for right now, how do you feel so far? Go ahead and assess yourself when you're finished by these different topics. Go ahead and say novice, apprentice, practitioner, or expert. You can just label yourself one, two, three, or four. Okay, here are your questions again. Go ahead and work them out in your Go Math book and show your work just to make sure that you understand what you're doing, and we'll check this tomorrow in class. Have a great night.